Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about the effects of changes in the exchange rate on the Australian economy. Now if we're looking at the syllabus, we are here at this last dot point, the effects of fluctuations in exchange rates on the Australian economy. You might say, well, what's the best value of the Australian dollar for an economy or the Australian economy in our case? Good question. There is no best value. The, the value of the Australian dollar will affect different sectors of the economy very differently. Think about it this way. If the Australian dollar appreciates and goes up, that's good news for travellers whose Australian dollar will be stronger when they are making purchases in overseas countries. But it's bad news for Australia's exporters whose exports will be less competitive and probably sell less on world markets. So what I'm saying is that while there is no best value, sometimes the RBA and others can talk about the Australian dollar being too high and that uh, a sustained appreciation having quite negative impacts on the Australian economy. So think about it this way, a high Australian dollar could increase demand for imports as well as making exports less competitive, which can slow the level of economic activity. This quote might be useful in putting together your notes on this topic that ComSec economist Craig James talks about when the currency strengthens, it does pose challenges for Aussie retailers. So this means that imports are cheaper, which means people will shop less at Australian retailers. And also, Australian exports will be less competitive and will probably sell less on world markets. Okay. Let's get specific now. When the Australian dollar rises, what happens? What are the impacts on the economy? Let's tackle the advantages first. So a higher Australian dollar, a stronger Australian dollar means that Australians have higher purchasing power. So their Australian dollar can buy more imports relative when it was worth less. Another advantage is that a stronger Australian dollar means that the value of servicing costs on foreign debt will lower because the Australian dollar is stronger which will shrink the Australian dollar value of those servicing costs. So that will reduce the value of NPY outflows. Also, the whole value of Australia's foreign debt will shrink in Australian dollar terms. Also, a higher Australian dollar will likely reduce domestic inflation. This is because imports are cheaper. So if imports are cheaper, um, the impact on the CPI will be lower, which will reduce inflationary pressures in the Australian economy. Let's look at the sort of the less favourable aspects of a rise in the Aussie dollar. One thing is that exports become less competitive. At the same time, imports are cheaper, uh, and this will worsen the balance of goods and services and worsen the current account deficit. Also that with a higher Australian dollar could lead to lower economic growth. This is because lower export revenue is coming at a time of higher spending on imports. Also there's a potential reduction in foreign investment into Australia because it is more expensive to invest in Australia when the dollar is higher. Another disadvantage is that a higher Australian dollar reduces the Australian dollar value of NPY inflows. So if an Australian invests in an American company and gets dividends coming back to them, well that will be less worth, sorry, will be worth less in Australian dollar terms. Alright, let's flip the script. A depreciation of the Australian dollar. So when the Australian dollar goes down, what is the impact on the economy? Let's start with the disadvantages. A lower Australian dollar means Australians lose purchasing power. They can buy fewer imports with a given amount of Australian dollars. There are actually higher servicing costs in foreign currency terms because the Australian dollar is weaker, which will increase the Australian dollar value of servicing costs. Foreign debt 
will be higher in Australian dollar terms because the Australian dollar is weaker. There will be greater inflationary pressures as now imports are more expensive with a lower currency, lead to higher prices, bump up the CPI and inflation. Let's look at the advantages of a lower Australian dollar. Would it surprise you that exports become more competitive? And as imports become more expensive, bogs will improve and the CAD could improve? Maybe it doesn't surprise you. The other thing is that it will increase in value of NPY inflows, so foreign currency coming in for capital outflows, which should improve the NPY deficit. It will also increase the value of foreign assets held by Australians. So if Australians have shares in American companies that are in American dollars, that will be worth more in Australian dollar terms. It will also be cheaper for foreigners to invest in Australia, which could increase foreign investment. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of movements in the currency, sort of the impacts on the economy of those currency movements. So here are two practice questions, um, very typical sort of HSC type questions for you to answer, and we'll go through those responses when we follow up on this material.